Hello friends, happy Sunday. Whatever, you're, you're seeing this on Monday? Whatever day you're seeing this, I'm making myself a little snack. These little like Angus cheeseburger things that aren't that good for Aldi, but they've been in our freezer for forever. So I'm gonna eat them and just get them out of the way. <laughs> They're really not good. Um, but I wanted to show y'all, I organized my um, like, call it bathroom vanity. Um, and it's chaos. I lost the magnet also that we use for our uh, childproof locking. So that's gonna be fun. I have to go through the trash to see if I threw it away accidentally. But I just organized everything. I got rid of a ton of stuff. There's that's one thing about hair products. Like this is as organized as like this can possibly get. You know what I mean? Like this is huge. So I love the deep drawers. 12 out of 10 recommend drawer storage if you're building. This drawer is even more insane. These are my like least used items, but that's still, again, that's like so much better than it was before. And then I can't even get in there because I'd have to go get a magnet from the kitchen. Um, and I also organized this drawer. So wink click, I actually, oh gosh, I'm gonna leave a link for this stuff below. You can get a starter kit. I think like Mariah R10 will get you 10% off. I think that's site-wide. But I have been so in love with this. So it is literally like semi-permanent, um, semi-permanent lashes, but I'm not sure if you can see. So they're not like one individual strip. It's like four little pieces. And we had a couple hiccups. I think this is the first one I did. <laughs> and I thought it said glue to your lash line, not your lash hairs. Yeah, it definitely said the opposite. So they came off. And then I did midi the like brown box and that's what I have now. So I wish they were a little bit shorter. I also would love if they did like a brown. Now I haven't looked super deep on their website to see if they do, but I, I like would love if they did a brown lash color. Cause I feel like that would just look so natural even if you had like fuller looking lashes. But I did these and then tonight we are gonna try brow lamination. I hope I can do it and get the look that I want, but I don't want that like super stuck up straight, like look for my brows. Cause I feel like it just looks crazy. But at the same time, my brows are also thick enough. A few of you guys messaged me and you're like, listen, I have thick brows. I know you have thick brows, but it'll just be easier if you do brow lamination. And even some people were like, you could brow laminate at home. So I bought this kit forever ago, completely forgot about it because I was breastfeeding and I couldn't find, like it was very mixed on if you could use this while breastfeeding or not. And I was like, it's not that big of a deal to me to laminate my brows while breastfeeding and not to like go to my doctor and be like, is this safe? So um, it's this little kit I got off Amazon. We're gonna try it. I'm real nervous. Cause again, like the, the lashes, they were a learning curve. Like I messed up the first time I did them. I don't really think there's much, I'll have to, yeah. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Um, but now I'm gonna take through the trash and see if I can find the magnet, which is super fun. And then whenever Roman wakes up from nap number two, it's 2.45, so it should be relatively soon. He's been down for an hour and 45. Um, we are going to go get some ice cream because these precious little dudes, I feel like we just are go, go, go as far as like errands go on the weekends. And they're only this little once and I just like want to enjoy it and not constantly be like doing projects and cleaning and this and that. So we're gonna like make a point on the weekends, like every Saturday or Sunday to like spend time out of the house with the boys doing something really fun while they're little and like don't have sports and friends and all those things. So we're gonna go get ice cream in just a little bit. Never see what these glasses are. Are we recording? Yes. So we are going now to go get ice cream with the boys. Um, we're doing, what's a, just, just Avery's? Or is it like Avery's? I think it's Avery's catering. It's and it's like else. Avery's, A-V-E-R-I-E-S? I think it's weird. It's like over 26. It's not, not the closest, but it is so good. And they have these insanely humongous, like, I don't even know what they call them. I'll have to show you guys when we get there, but they are, the most insane chocolate things ever. I never get one because I would literally be shaking from how much sugar is in them. Um, the, the milkshakes and the sundaes? Yeah, but they're like the ones that are like, they, have like they literally have fake displays yeah. of them because they're so bougie. I don't even know, but I, it's like, you have to go over 26, like the bridge on 26 towards like, 
think it has an Inman address. Maybe, maybe Bone, Bone Springs. I'll leave it below, but if you're in the Spartanburg area, it's definitely closer. It's super cool. I wanna like get this man with a face full of ice cream and work on Okay, so it's A-V-E-R-I-E-S. Avery's. And it is delicious. It's just Avery's ice cream shop. Avery's ice cream shop. It was also our wedding caterer. He was the one who opened this. They're all fake. What? Aren't they cool? It's cold. It's it is cold. cold. Yeah. Come on, bubs. What kind of ice cream do you want? No, I want. Good idea. We're doing now. We're. Hi, Sam Robinson. In a little 28 pound form. Um, it is pouring. Like really hard, and I'm just laying here being climbed on top of. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna let's go inside, boys. Come on, thunder's starting up real heavy. Ezra, you are intentionally standing there getting soaked. Come on, let's go, boys. Yeah, I got. Yep, let's go. Also, apparently now Target has something called like Target 360 delivery, or I don't quite know, but. I ordered some stuff, so let's get that inside. I got like a couple clothes and then some cat litter that we desperately needed. But Target Circle Week is going on right now, so all of this stuff is really discounted. Oh, I hate food hangers. This is like a, it's called like a muscle top or something. It like kind of has a little bit more square, but I got it in a pretty lime green color because I don't have a lot of that. And then I wanted to get the green in this, but they didn't have it in my size. So I got just regular like ribbed tank tops. They actually look like really nice quality. Eight bucks, I think they were like 560 on Target Circle Week. This was 10 retail. This was like seven bucks. And then I got dark blue and black. You can never have too many of these, ever, ever, ever. Especially during the summertime. So that's what I grabbed. Okay, something I was gonna do when I came inside. I don't know what it was. But. Steaks, asparagus, and mac and cheese. So no brow lamination tonight. Um, I looked up the reviews, got some great tips, but you need plastic wrap and we don't have any plastic wrap in this house and I have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. So. I figured I'd rather just make sure I have everything and do it correctly. Um, some people did say there's definitely a learning curve, but when you get the hang of it, it works really well. Oh, I need to sell tan. Oh. You don't want to just, you, it's, you gotta dry and it's a whole. Anyways. Um, so we're gonna do the brow lamination tomorrow. But I figured now would be a very exciting time to tell you guys some very exciting news. And it's not really my news to share, but he said that I could because he's just, he doesn't really talk about this kind of stuff. Like even on like in personal life, Sam got a new job. <laughs> and I literally, like there was one time he got a big promotion and I was like, did you tell our friends or your family? And he was like, oh no, I guess I should. Yes. So. I'm very big on celebrating all of the good things that he does, but he literally was not looking for this job in the slightest. Um, he signed up for some training course and basically he's in like legal compliance. He's in the compliance department on the legal team or in the legal department on the compliance division. He's in compliance. <laughs> That's what I know. And um, he's very good at his job. And so he was talking um, to his boss and like wanted to get more, like I think it was certifications or something. But in order to get this like specific kind of certification, you have to basically have your boss sign off that you are, are already in compliance. So it's not just like a resume builder that anyone can do. It's like you have to be in the job currently. 
and I guess that was like a public list and a company saw his name, reached out to him, they were like, hey, we're actually hiring for our compliance division. And one of the things that was so wild was like, Sam at first, he was like, I'm not really like, I don't know, you know, what I really think of it. He was like, I love my two work from home days that I get with the boys, but like, we'll see what it's about because it's so nice. Like he drives 45 minutes to work home. So that's an hour and a half of drive time every day that he misses out on. So on Thursdays and Fridays, he gets to have lunch with the boys. He doesn't have that drive time. So he just gets to spend more time with them. Um, and he ended up talking to someone like the, the lady that had reached out to him and she was like, no, we have to work from home days and they're flexible. So you can do whatever days you want from one week to the next. And he was like, oh, that's huge. Cause his right now are set. They're definitely Thursday and Friday every week. And if you can't, like, if you have to be in office Thursday, you can't make it up a different day. Like you don't get to be home a different day. So he was really excited about that. Um, but yeah, he literally talked to the lady and she was like, well, let's go ahead and just set up an interview. And that was like a Thursday or Friday. The following Thursday, he had his first interview. It was supposed to be like 45 minutes to an hour. It was an hour and a half. And after that, he was like, oh, I really liked her. Like, I really want this job. And so on the following Monday, they reached out to him. They were like, hey, like we want to set up an interview um, this Friday. So that coming Friday, all of this literally happened over the course of two weeks. It was so quick. Um, it, on Friday, he had the interview. It takes 45 minutes to get home from where he interviewed. Literally, he was not even in the door for like a full hour and they reached out and offered him the job and it was just like insane and we like we just I, I kept going so you're changing jobs because like I have changed jobs in the past and it never was that fast like because you usually have to go through an interview process and it can be a one to two interview three interview, you know, however long and scheduling and, and making sure all that stuff like that takes time. And then you have to wait for an offer from the company. Like when I got my job, when I switched from residential to commercial, it was like a month and a half in total, I think before I actually even started because I had my first interview. Then we had to wait. I want to say it was like two weeks for my second interview and then it was like a few days before she gave me my letter my offer letter and then i had to because it was thanksgiving week wait a week because my boss was off and then give my two week notice so it was like this whole thing and for him it was literally like two weeks it's wild but we feel very blessed and he's so excited and he will still be obviously doing compliance um but it will just be different what he is doing like it's a different company so on Friday, I'm actually getting my hair cut. Oh, that was a lot. And I'll show you guys while I let the wild dry shampoo set in what I'm going for on Friday. So we're gonna go out and celebrate after, which I'm super excited about. Cause Friday's his last day of his job. He like put in his two week notice. Um, so we're gonna go out Friday after his last day. And this is my haircut inspo pick. I want really dramatic layers because at this point, like my hair is so lifeless. Like, you know, when you just haven't had a cut, like a good cut, trim, shape up, whatever in so long that like your hair is just bleh. And like, I need something different. I was looking back at my videos from like two, three years ago. I am someone who I love long hair. Like I definitely had a chop in 2020 was when I like chopped my hair off. And as it's grown back, like I just have the same style hair now that I had in 2019 and you know, 2021 when it started to really grow in. Like I've just done the same thing and I'm just ready for something else. So I'm gonna get my hair cut with some choppy layers and I think we're gonna start styling it a little bit different. I really like that curled in look, which if you use the Dyson Airwrap, you actually have to like curl a completely opposite direction. And I don't know how to do that with a curling iron. So it's gonna be interesting to try that. Um, I mean, you literally just like rotate side of the curling iron, like you just put it a different direction, but you understand what I mean? Like it's, I'm not used to that. So it'll be a time trying to style it, but I just need something different. Like this hair is just meh. So anyways, that's all. Sorry, we're not gonna be doing the brow elimination, but we'll do it tomorrow. And I look insane with like no makeup and these lashes, but um, I'm gonna self tan now. And then wait four business days for it to feel like it's dried before I get to bed. So thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all tomorrow.